Hello, my dear students. In this lecture, we are going to see one previous year gate numerical. This question was asked in gate 2019. My dear students, this question is basically based on conduction through a solid component. So let us understand the question. The question is one dimensional. Now here it is 1D conduction, right? One dimensional steady state again it is given steady state 1d steady state heat conduction takes place through a solid whose cross section area varies linearly in the direction of heat transfer now my dear students there is a conduction right one directional steady state conduction through a solid and in which the cross sectional area is varies linearly in the direction of heat transfer let us say the heat transfer is along x direction Therefore, area perpendicular to the direction directly proportional to x direction. Right? Therefore, area is equal to some constant into x. This is the relation given. It is a linear variation. That is, area is directly proportional to x power 1 means it is a linear variation. Between x and a area, there is a linear variation. Assume there is no heat generation in the solid and thermal conductivity of material is constant. Here, it is without heat generation. Heat generation is 0. It is q dot heat generation is zero and here thermal conductivity is also constant thermal conductivity is also constant right of the material is constant and independent of temperature right thermal conductivity is constant and it is not depending on the temperature the temperature distribution in the solid is now what is the temperature distribution now my dear students as it is one directional 1d steady right 1d steady without heat generation without heat generation they have given 1d steady without heat generation conduction through a solid conduction through a solid now for such type of flow with uniform value of thermal conductivity with thermal conductivity constant we have fourier law right let us use fourier law now fourier law is nothing but heat conduction along x direction is equal to minus k a dt by dx that we have seen right in theory lectures we have seen this fourier law right so my dear students this heat transfer along x direction in watt will be equal to minus k area is some constant into x dt by dx dt by dx now my dear students here our target is to find this temperature profile dt by temperature we have to find take temperature equation therefore here we can say this dt by dx dt by dx will be equal to we can say if i take this on right side qx divided by minus k cx right therefore dt is equal to here qx let us write qx as q only q divided by minus kc into 1 upon x dx if i separate the variables right this is how we can write now my dear students so my resulting equation is dt is equal to q divided by minus kc into 1 upon x dx right therefore if i integrate this equation then I will get temperature profile. So let us integrate this equation. Therefore, here dt integration of dt is equal to minus q by kc into 1 upon x dx integration. Right. Now integration of dt is 1, that is t. Integration of 1 is t. Right. Therefore, here it is t is equal to here heat transfer is a steady, steady one directional. Therefore, q will be constant. Again, thermal conductivity is going constant, c is a constant only. Therefore, it will become minus q divided by kc. Right. Now, my dear students, the integration of 1 upon x. What is the integration of 1 upon x? It is ln of x. Therefore, it will be ln of x plus there will be an integration constant. Right. Therefore, here we got the temperature equation. And the temperature equation we can say it is a logarithmic function, ln of x. Right. It is directly proportional to ln of x. Therefore, temperature is directly proportional to ln of x. Therefore, the temperature distribution will be logarithmic. Therefore, here for this question, option B will be the correct choice. Right. Now, my dear students, for a cylinder, you have seen, let us say cylinder. For cylinder, what is the area of heat transfer? The area is 2 pi R L. Right. Means this area is directly proportional to radius. Right. Therefore, here area is we have considered area is directly proportional to x. X is replaced here with the R only. Right. And in case of cylinder, we have derived the formula for cylinder. The heat transfer through the cylinder will be equal to Q is equal to delta T divided by resistance of cylinder, which is nothing but 
टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस T1 वन माइनस टी टू डिवा बाय एल एन ऑफ आर टू डिवा बाय आर वन डिवा बाय टू पाई के एल दिस फॉर्मुला वी हैव डिराइव फॉर द सिलेंडर देर फॉर हियर द टेम्परेचर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन केस ऑफ सिलेंडर द टेम्परेचर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टी वन माइनस टी टू इज इक्वल टू क्यू इन टू एल एन ऑफ आर टू डिवा बाय आर वन डिवा बाय टू पाई के एल इट इज लॉग एर मी फंक्शन राइट मीन्स द सेम वेरिएशन फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन द वेरिएशन विल बी एक्जैक्टली सिमिलर टू द सिलेंडर बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ सिलेंडर द एर इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द एरियस राइट थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी वन मोर न्यूमरिकल ऑन दिस टॉपिक विच वॉज आस्क्रीन प्रीवियस गेट एक्सामिने